Hi there guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Zach and amongst other things I am a reenactor and a jouster. Today I wanted to talk about something that I see uh, myself doing quite a lot, that I see a lot of reenactors doing quite a lot and I also see happening in HEMA communities as well. In fact I think just humans tend to do this in general and that is to use a specialist word when actually a normal word will do. Now in particular I'm talking about when as a reenactor or as a interpreter we are sharing some information with a member of the public. Um, in this situation we are communicating with someone who does not have the background that we tend to have and so a lot of the language that we may well end up using is actually not going to mean anything to them. As an example, using the word harness fechten, um, I've probably not pronounced that correctly, to describe fighting in armour is probably actually not that helpful because you're going to use the word, the member of the public is going to look at you confused and then you're going to have to use the English words to start with. In fact I'm not actually all that sure how useful harness fechten as a word is uh, unless we're specifically talking about the German types of fighting in armour but that could be a, a, a discussion for another day. Anyway so using these words uh, can cause confusion and uh, um, in some instances, um, like in the one I just described, it's very obvious that the person is confused so that you can, you can actually then explain it to them. But sometimes you might use something and you don't realise, uh, because you're so used to using that word, you don't realise how confusing it is to the person that you're talking to. Now, an example of this would be the word male. Now, one of the first things that we learn as practitioners and as reenactors is that the word chainmail was invented in the Victorian times. It was not used in period, and the word male is perfectly fine for that. Um, so we know this. We we have it um, as part of our normal um, brain makeup now, and so we tend to use the word male just casually. That's what it is. Um, and we sometimes miss the signs when it when it gets really normal talking like that. We miss the signs that someone hasn't understood what we mean. Uh, now, as an example, I was reading um, an extract from someone the other day, and I explained to them uh, that in this period, most uh, most of the armor was male. Now, if you think about what I've just said to that person, I'm not actually communicating correctly. If they're not um, aware of the history of armour, actually male, if we go by the Victorian or in fact the Dungeons and Dragons uh, understanding of male, male is plate male, scale male, chain male. There's so much, such a wide thing. So I'm actually using the correct terminology, but because I didn't check that that person understood that terminology. Um, actually, we've ended up uh, miscommunicating. I, I have not communicated effectively with that person and they've gone away misunderstanding what I've said. So what can we do about this? It, well, if we're going to try and make it better, I would say that we should actually probably use the um, the normal terminology when we're discussing with each other and the other practitioners and uh, um, and just be really careful uh, that people understand what we're saying when we're actually sharing that with someone else. So change the way that you speak uh, depending on who you're sharing that information with and just be aware of it in your conversations. I think a lot of these things it's just about that awareness that sometimes what we say is not what the other person hears. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for joining me. 
if you liked it, please do subscribe. Please do leave a like and a comment. I really, I read all of the comments and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you very much, everyone who has been doing that. Um, coming up, I am going to be starting a new series where I talk about my new project where I'm going to be commissioning a new armor and doing research and all of that sort of stuff. So uh, do subscribe if that's something that would interest you and uh, I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye bye.